Hello everyone, welcome to Mad Mains Media. Today I'd like to discuss with you the PlayStation VR. Doomed to fail, bright future. Well, I have an opinion on the matter, but first, let's get the details of what exactly the PlayStation VR is out of the way. The PlayStation VR is Sony's answer to the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive, other virtual reality headsets on the market available to consumers. The HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift clock in around $800, while the PlayStation VR clocks in at $500. PlayStation VR is by far the cheapest for its full launch bundle. The PlayStation VR at $500 will include the headset, a camera, and the Move controllers. Everything you, needed, you would need to enjoy the PlayStation VR on your PlayStation Home console. Now down to the nitty gritty, what do I actually think about the future of PlayStation VR? Well, I honestly don't think it's very bright. Because it came in with a, a bang, like a lot of people were covering the launch of PlayStation VR. But after that, nobody was really talking about it. Weeks went by, no one's, not in the main, con main media's consciousness, no one's really talking about it. Worst of all, you couldn't find the thing if you did want it until recently. Which, that's just terrible. It's just terrible. Why would, why would you not want to get your product to the consumers that want it? You, you should have found a way to remedy this as soon as possible. My next point comes down to the price. $500 is the cheapest of any virtual reality headset in the market. But still, $500 is a lot to ask of your average consumer for basic, what's basically a peripheral for your PlayStation 4. A peripheral that costs double the price of a base model PS4. Third point being the games. Where are the full length experiences for the PlayStation VR? We're just getting a smitter smatter of one to two hour experiences here and there. The exception to this rule being Resident Evil 7, which came out in January, and you can play it the full game in PlayStation VR. But where are the other ones? Sony, we have no th first party announcements for the PlayStation VR, full length or otherwise, coming up. Where are they? And I'm willing to bet if Sony doesn't show us a lot of awesome PlayStation VR games at E3 this year, that they've, sh they've given up or they're not going to support the thing. And that's kind of the nail in the coffin to me. So hopefully we get to E3 and Sony gives us a ton of this stuff. It gives a lot more VR games. Show us what they've been working on, if it, a VR title at all. I sure hope so. If not, the future is not going to be bright for the PlayStation VR. Point four, third party support. How long is it going to be there for the PlayStation VR? If the install base doesn't grow, then why are they going to want to invest millions of dollars on a PlayStation VR game that's going to sell a few, maybe a few thousand copies? They can use that money elsewhere to make a game that they can put on multiple consoles that's going to make them money. This is the same thing that Nintendo gets criticized for is their third party support. Because the Wii U didn't sell well, third parties abandoned it. That may in indeed happen to PlayStation VR. If they don't start getting the ball rolling on some of these games being announced and releasing more games for this thing. Even though I've been down on PlayStation VR's future, I hope that I'm considerably wrong. PlayStation VR is a wonderful device. I've experienced it myself, and I will tell you one thing, it is not a gimmick. And I believed it. Once I had that headset on, and I was playing until Dawn Rush of Blood, and that roller coaster went down the track, and my stomach rose. Then I knew there was something to this PlayStation VR and just VR in general. Later on that evening, I was trying on the HTC Vibe and I was pretty much whimpering like a baby because I thought I was going to fall off a building. That's crazy. And that is some tech I want to see expanded on in the future and in everybody's homes. So, so, so I really, really hope that Sony gets the marketing machine together before E3. We get a lot of VR titles announced. and. Maybe a year from now, I'm like, PlayStation VR is awesome, and, I, and I've owned one myself. Maybe all my friends own a PlayStation VR in the future. I would love that. All right, that'll end our discussion on the future of PlayStation VR. What do you think about the future of PlayStation VR? Be sure to sound out in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to keep up with the future of Mad Manx Media, you can either subscribe here on YouTube, or you can follow me on Twitter at mad underscore manx underscore media. Again, that's at mad underscore manx underscore media on Twitter. Again, thank you guys for watching.